Alright guys, in today's video I'm going to be playing some more Nissa Combo. Just wanted to play something different. And um, this is my version because I think it's more fun. So the idea is to basically uh, have the Brontosaurus here um, that you're going to guaranteed get unless, you know, like a skill card gets milled or something. Or like uh, Bark High Growth gets negated. And you want to Primal Summon it, make five of them. There's a lot of decks that uh, obviously just can't deal with it. Basically, unless you have a board wipe, you're going to lose the game. And uh, yeah, it just completely lights out. And then we have the other traditional combo, which is Strahd. Set your opponent's health to 10. He's a flyer with 10 power. So you combine that with haste and they die. And so to facilitate the combo, we're running Birds of Paradise because we need to get to at least 12 to get the combo off. Unless, of course, you draw Primal Summoning because then Strahd can basically be played for 9, which means you can do the combo at 11 mana, which is actually a really big deal getting out a whole turn early. Especially if your opponent isn't expecting it, and this also uh, draws you a bunch of cards to find your combo pieces. So Bird ramps you. Scion is basically just a uh, curve filler and is also an alternate win con really late because you can get up to like 20 mana in this deck. And then, you know, dropping a 20-20 with uh, Warden uh, Trample is pretty good. Obviously, even if it was just a 10-10, it would be a problem. Treetop Lookout is absolutely essential for whenever you're playing against Teferi. You hold this until you have the combo and you have like 14 mana or 13 depending on if you have primal summoning and then uh, you just play this disarm all the traps and then they lose rampant growth helps us ramp elvish archer is just a good stat stick early and a good blocker uh, colonial tusker same sort of thing stat stick early help you survive to get to the combo grudge match for some spot removal so because we, we want to interact a little bit um, druid whenever you ramp that's not from a mana gem or that's not from your land you draw a card so playing the rampant growth the birds of paradise um, the Barkhide Growth, uh, Shrine, Titan, all that, getting some extra draws, which we need to find the combo. Stag for some more interaction and another body. Sylvan Shrine to ramp harder. Uh, Shrine into Titan in particular is really strong, so debut an attack, get an empty mana gem. This guy makes it go really crazy. Day of Judgment, when the board gets out of our control and we just need a reset so we can uh, stabilize to get to the combo. Brawling Behemoth, 7 drop, 5, 8 reach, debut, fight an enemy creature. So uh, just some more removal, basically just a bigger version of Stag, and I've been over the rest. And then the land is before the game starts, heal yourself for 2. Starting turn 5, you have a chance to heal yourself for 2. If so, this turn's mana gym is empty. So unlike most of the lands that have an ability, you still get to accelerate your mana, which is great. So it's not too inhibitive, and it will also uh, heal you some and uh, help you stabilize, live longer, so you can get to actually drawing the combo. So, hopefully we have some fun with it, and let's get into the games. Well, this is one of the worst matchups we could possibly have found. It actually might be the worst, because Teferi we have the uh, lookout answer. But this is just a constant onslaught of um, aggression that our deck is going to have a hard time answering, so... This is, this is the kind of stuff that makes me wish I ran Crusher Worm still. Um, yeah, because ramping to that is something that can save you in this matchup. Um, I'm going to keep the Grudge Match in the 3 drop. Okay. Let's get wild. I can go uh, 1, 2, and then maybe fight a little bit. Alright. Listen to nature. Now the Brontosaurus Grim Echo combo could get us there. Well, that could definitely get us there because Lava Wave isn't big enough uh, to take us out. Don't think they're running Lava Wave in this version though. It's not the right land for that version, but people people be crazy. So you never really know. Immediately with just the yeah, this is a this is a really old build of Domri here. You can pass now. I am glad to meet you. Please pass. <laughs> Sorry if you guys heard that burp. I just had breakfast. It was a big breakfast too. I'm trying to cut, get my abs back, but this morning I kind of went a little overboard with my breakfast. Uh, Bro. Astonishing. Like, what the heck is your problem? Okay, so unfortunately, 
I think I am going to go Tusker, just because I have Grudge Match, so I can, might be able to mop up two things with this Tusker. It'll help me live. It's not what I want to do, but I'm basically going to have to go like two, two, three, and then maybe ramp and draw a bunch. That's, you know, where we're at right now. Okay, this person is uh. just going to play as slow as possible. I don't know if you guys can hear the rain, but it is raining here right now. Let me see if I can lower this a little bit. There we go. Yeah, so I'm going to grudge match and attack and see if I can take out both of these. We do already have part of the combo, which is great. I am going to attack because it's possible to have shock, so I'm at least going to try and get this value or get this trade out of the way before it could get shocked. That tells me they don't have shock. Or that they're horrendous at the game. Uh, so I'm going to go with no shock. Okay, three cards, four cards. Another Tusker. I'm gonna maximize the mana this turn. I'm gonna take this damage, and then next turn I have uh, this, this into this if I want to to draw that many times. Obviously, you don't want to use the fragile mana gem from birds like that, but we may not have a choice. I'm gonna try not to though, because I'm really gonna try and get to Brontosaurus quickly. Of course. If I must. Can't just have a turn. That would be. Way too ideal. Now, if they pass here, it's a lot better for me. Uh, uh, than if they were to continue developing, obviously. Like, I'll take the loss of the druid if that means their development stops here is basically what I'm trying to say. Oh, this is obnoxious. This will also heal me two life, which isn't too shabby. What is your problem? The game doesn't know it's the end of your turn. Until you do something. Jeez. Alright, so... Rouse the beast within. I'm using all my mana. Feels like home. Huh. Okay. If I can get this win, that'd be really great. Is my OBS being laggy? I don't think so. It's hard to tell sometimes. Yeah, surprisingly, I will block. Uh, giant growth doesn't get it out of range anymore, so it's not even something I have to think about. Giant growth was nasty back in the day, man. All my luck is accounted for. That's annoying. Because my stag can't take it out. Oh, please play the boar so I can at least take the boar out. That'd be great. My block, my pack. <laughs> okay. Ooh, judgment. Ooh, okay. Uh, let's see. There we go. Ooh. Hopefully we draw Barkhide Growth soon. I'm not gonna... I might chump the 4-4 with the 0-1. That's probably what I'll do. And then hopefully the Barkhide Growth will go... You know, goes on my stag. And I can have something formidable on the board. Okay, the temporary card's annoying here. But um, it's gonna stop them from... Um, their ability to snowball me with development while I'm behind. So, could be a lot worse. Really need a Primal Summoning here. Coming up. Because we're so far behind on cards, it's mm -hmm. uh, kind of cray cray. Uh. They probably even have things with reach, like uh, Archer and um, the four drop and such. Have you met my friend? What? They run that? This is such an old build, man. It's not going to stop me from losing to it either. 
Well, I don't know. If they keep just... Flooding the board like this... Like, I'm really tempted to wipe, but I don't think it's correct yet. It's gonna be bark hide growth, just because... You know, having a creature would be nice to try and pull them in more, but... Um, it's not gonna happen. What is this person's problem? Astonishing. Pass the turn. Does this person have brain damage? I don't understand. Am I taking too much damage? I am just gonna day of judgment here. You might think I have some kind of trap. Like three cards left. Um, there's still a couple ticks away from just slamming a boar. I think I have to day of judgment here. Because if this gets removed, they summon a bunch of stuff, this gets big, I could lose like half my health, if not more. Oh my goodness. I don't even know what their name is. Is that supposed to be Silent TV? Never. I don't know. This is a life-changing decision they have here. Oh my goodness. Okay, thanks, I guess. The world's best top deck would be uh, Primal Summoning. Yeah. No such thing as a lone wolf. Of course. There's the legendary haster that gets some more stuff. So stupid. All are connected. Two turns away. Can I live that long? Is the question. My land's gonna go off on 12, so it's gonna be uh, three turns away. Or on my whatever it is. Uh. Whenever I get to 12, it's gonna proc and be three turns away and piss me off. Come on, Brontosaurus, off the top. Oh wow. That was a really difficult decision. No! Stay back! Destroy! No! I'm not gonna make it that long if I don't draw Brontosaurus, man. I need a top deck Brontosaurus and I need my land not to go off. One of the two happened. Trample them! Oh please! Oh please! Oh please! If my land just doesn't go off, I can win the game. Don't play anything with reach, and don't let my land go off. <sighs> Pretty please. I might as well block it because it's gonna take the damage regardless. Yeah, it's fine, dude. Okay, and I'm gonna absorb another two, so I'm gonna take seven. Oh, don't please don't me. go off. Don't touch me! Don't, don't touch me! Oh boy. Please don't go off. Please don't go off. And if you do go off, give me a primal summoning off the top, but just don't go off. Ooh, uh. 
I'm with you, Nissa, dude. I don't know what his deal is. Smashy, smashy. Now you gonna pass? Yes. Don't go off. Please, 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 please. Just let me see the twelve. Let me see the twelve. Yes, yes. Oh, and even if it did, I would have got the primal summoning. Let's go. Uh. Yeah, I want to do it just to do it. Let's go. That that makes me feel really good knowing that even if the land didn't go off, I would have had it. Those grim echoes were close too. For that brontosaurus. You have my attention. I am nothing if not fair. In this way, even if this something happens to this, I have a one drop to play. Join me for dinner. Love it. I love it. Oh, well, we know we had to verse the Teferi. It has to be the literal two planeswalkers I don't want to face for the video. So, one is Domri and the other one's Teferi. Um, but that just goes to show if we can win both, then uh, the deck's, you know, pretty decent. Now, that's not a typical land, so that's making me wonder if there's some sort of shenanigans going on here. Yeah, I was looking for ramp. Yeah, ramp and interaction, that's fine with me. That's good enough. If it's if somehow if it's not a version that's running Day of Judgment, I might be able to get away with the Brontosaurus Grim Echoes combo, but um, not hitting Absorb or Negate is a really big ask. Listen to nature. So probably gonna lose this one. Seek knowledge. Oh, it's School of the Wizard. Yeah, it's more proactive. If it was like the super like laid back, it's alive, super late version. Then I would probably have enough time to get the lookout, but not like this. Also, um, you hard more like that just to find combo pieces. Oh, there's lookout, so I don't have to worry about. Um, good. I don't have to worry about overdrawing it at some point, which is great. Still have to worry about overdrawing Hasten and Strahd, though. Okay, so they're fighting. Um, I'm actually going to take this opportunity to play something that doesn't um, die to this when it trades. I might not even play this because I don't want my deck to be bogged down with uh, basically cards that aren't Hasten and Strahd. So. A fellow seeker. I'm not even, I'm not gonna attack, I'm not doing anything, I'm not helping them draw. I am just trying to ramp. Um, I could play this. Could I play this? The forest fights alongside me. That was a cool animation. Yeah, the Brontosaurus Grim Echoes is never going to work because they also run Day of Judgment. So, we have to go for this alternate game plan. Not that it's not, you know, specifically secondary to uh, Brontosaurus Grim Echoes or anything. Okay, I just need... Um, just need Strahd now. And then we just have to live to 14 mana. I also need a way of dealing with the familiar since it's a f stupid flyer. So I need three things to happen now. So maybe that just means I also need Grudge Match. So I need 16 mana or 15 if I have Primal Summoning. There's Primal Summoning. Uh huh. Got the flyer out the way. I knew they were just gonna keep holding up glare. Or shot, whichever one it was. I 
And also, I also didn't mind it getting absorbed because I just need to keep getting cards out of my hand. Because Primal <sighs> Summoning is coming soon, so. Hmm. There's Grudge Match. I'm under absolutely no obligation to do anything. <clears throat> You're not the only one that can pass go to fairy. Alright, so that's... Is that negate? Does that scream negate to me? I don't know if it does. Does that scream... The gate to me. Seems vindictive shot to me. Yep, just keep the hand clear. Well, I know it can't be um, absorb, so I can play this too. <sighs> One more piece and five more mana. Gonna get to a point where he's gonna have to wipe me. And when he wipes me, I'm going for primal summoning. Nope, now I'm not because that's the key. Oh, now I can go for primal summoning. You fool! Oh, oh, that's what he wanted. Duh. Oh man, it's a shame that this uh, makes it one turn away. This is my opportunity to use this. I'm gonna take it. Okay, well we're obviously just gonna play the biggest thing we can play here. I was really hoping to get a Bird of Paradise so I could play that too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 910. So even if he bounces this, I won't overdraw, which is fantastic. Impossible. Yeah, that's fine. He's going to play another spell to make another one. Um I wish it was a 3 drop thing I could just play to bait out the absorb and then day of judgment. Rather it happen now, um, let's see if it's negate. Okay, it is negate. That's why we did that first, so we can do this instead. Now, if it's guess again, then wait, hold on. I want to play this in case it's guess again. Okay, now let's see if there's also an absorb. Okay, there's also an absorb. Nope, try again. <laughs> Okay, 13 cards left, so it's a good chance I'll get it pretty soon here. But yeah, if I had uh, either one of those ramps had worked, then um, next turn if I top deck draw, I win. Yeah, this is this is okay. It's not the best. I wouldn't be surprised if they just passed here, held up a bunch of traps because they know the combo's coming, so they have to. All right, there's Strahd, so let's do... Oh no, I can't do that one first because it'll eat up all the mana. So let's do this one and then see if there's a guess again. No guess again, okay. 12 cards left. And there's also another Primal Summoning for what it's worth. So if I get to uh, <laughs> 11, uh, 13 mana, I can treetop and primal summoning if I have like four cards left. I don't please and think he's gonna get there in time, and I also don't believe he has another absorb, so I'm gonna day of judgment here. If I top deck Strahd right now, that's gonna be pretty annoying. Oh boy. So close. I can just Day of Judgment here though, and then next turn I guaranteed we'll have the combo, so... Okay. Ooh. 
Okay. I don't see a reason to play the wolf. So, yeah. I mean, unless they play a flyer here, we win, right? They could have the stupid um, five drop one. None of that matters. Get wrecked. This act's really good. You have my attention. I am nothing if not fair. <laughs> That's how you do that. Join me for dinner. What a pleasant outcome. In two matchups, I seriously wanted to avoid the most, and we got them both. So. I'll take that. Alright guys, with that, I'm going to conclude the video. Two good games. Um, again, matchups I didn't want to see, but we got them anyway. The deck's just good. Um, the treetop lookout is 100% million, uh, you know, a million percent necessary. Uh, Teferi's so rampant. Um, and even if it wasn't, uh, stopping the gates for the hasten, stopping remands to slow you down, stuff like that. And it's just a one of, right? So um, the problem with the control decks is that their game plan is so long, you're going to have plenty of time to draw that one of. And um, yeah, I think the deck is just way more flexible now with the primal summonings. And obviously, I'm just running the uh, Grim Echoes and the Brontosaurus for fun. There's probably, um, you could probably just make the deck like way more efficient otherwise. I just want to, I just play it for fun. Um, if you guys want to see like a combo Nissa version that's like as competitive as I w would possibly make it, I'll be, I'll be happy to put that list together, but this is definitely the fun version. Also, um, I made a community post yesterday talking about if you guys wanted to see a video on uh, uh, deck construction, about how I go about making decks, how you can go about making decks. Um, seems like there's a lot of people in card games that struggle with um, building good decks, and um, a lot of it's really like uh theoretical you know it's like it's a lot of like concepts that a lot of people i don't think have ever like just uh heard spoken to them or um maybe they're just not experienced in card games enough to kind of discover these like truths about card games on their own but um if you guys would be interested in seeing that video uh let me know and i'll put it together but um the videos i don't do well i'm just gonna start you know stop making them um the fully equipped event that i did with Rawl, it did really badly and um, so I try to include these things on my channel for like new people or people that want to like um, gain materials. But when a video doesn't do well, I mean, it's like really demotivating, you know, makes me not want to do it. So um, I guess I'm asking you guys about the opinion about the deck construction thing because I really want to make sure that it's something that is wanted by you guys and that it will be watched because it sucks putting in like an hour of work. Uh, you know, I mean, the gameplay is not the work, but like the thumbnails and the processing and the green screening the little subscribe thing over the top it's like it's all tedious stuff that takes time out every day so whenever a video doesn't do well it's like it's kind of a bummer so uh, let me know what you guys think but i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you for watching and i'll see you tomorrow